Oh, good morning. We're back. See there, the guy there on the edge? I know it's a little hard down here in the bottom. He's drilling down through the uh, timber for the, uh, put the hook bolt in. Or J bolt. Whatever you want to call it. They have to do those as they go along. Sorry about the tree being in the way. Uh, don't know if I'll be able to get up here later on. See him out here pulling them out. They are getting their uh, daps cut. They got a circular saw and a hand adds. And he says it's going pretty quick. Not bad, that's good to hear. I was talking to the Richard up here, the grapple truck operator, and I suggested a chainsaw. He said, Dave, you don't want to use a chainsaw to do that. He said, with that free, fresh creosote, It'll, that chainsaw will throw the creosote all over you. So, I've cut old timbers. I've never cut new timbers or ties with a chainsaw. So that's why they're not using a chainsaw for that. Pulling another one out there. I can't spend all day up here. Uh, I'm camping behind the uh, tie gag and I'm gonna have to get back there real soon and get out waiting for a grapple truck down there to come back and unload, his, unload some used ties at the end of the dumpsters so I'll follow him back out. So Maybe later on this afternoon I'll get up here and try to catch one from down here, out here. Where you can see a little better. Okay, we'll be back. Don't go anywhere, there's more to come. <laughs> okay. You got these all uh the dap dap widened on them. See what they did. So cut this out with a circular saw across here. Looks like it made one one, two, three cuts. And then they use the ads to chip this stuff out here. All of this out. So all of these have been redapped. 
and there's a couple more they've got down here behind me got a lot to put in yet this that pile down there has been redapped uh I wanted to show you this still going slow uh, if you don't know what an ads is uh, it's an old time uh, tool and let me see there's one over here I'll show it to you I'm sure most of you guys do know what an old timers know what an ads is that's spelled A-D-Z right there you have it got a sharp edge on it there you go all right We'll go up here and see how they're doing. Be right back. That's the last I heard. Well, if we have to, we'll pad it up. We don't get a finish. Get a safe return. Like yeah. That's all you can do. Yeah. That's all you can do. Put some pads on there for, I don't know, five or ten to six times, whatever you think. And just the uh, way well, I understand it, you guys are done July 1st, so. That's what I was told this morning. By Jamie. The first. The first. July 1st. You're done. Wish they all came out that easy, huh? But. You know what Catherine Coleman once said? You know who Catherine Coleman was? A, a famous evangelist? Yeah. She said, great pilots are made in rough seas, not in calm seas. So. Probably bolts out over on this side. Big bolt down there at the bottom is still in on that side. Slide it out. They had to take this one out. Obviously with both of them in there you can see the J bolt now pretty good. Sticking down. So it hooks to the bottom of the skirter here. The bottom of the top plate of the skirter. Alright. Very good. I want to do 
get to see this kind of stuff. All right. going to get these pairs, the original, you just never do it without cutting the rail out or adding rail in or something. Exactly right. I said just make, make just don't worry about the original charge, just make the curve smooth. That's all you can do now. You know? Well, all right, project did not get finished. Those uh, daps being wrong significantly took a lot of time off the project. So this whole approach span did not get changed. And I wanna give you, uh, I'm gonna do this in this video because there is no no, we have no clue when this is going to get finished. Uh, Frontier Railroad is so busy, and uh, it's, they, they have got so many other jobs to do. Plus, they've been running trains like crazy, and this is going to take some down track to finish this. Plus, uh, trying to get Frontier out here uh, to do it. So, uh, I wanted to finish this video up. Obviously, you see the... The, uh, the uh, road shields did not get put back on. Uh, the guardrails didn't get put back on. They were very, very fortunate, lucky, to get everything that they did get done, done. Uh, they were on a schedule, and we were on a schedule, and things just had to get buttoned up. But what they did do, uh, they did a very good job. And these are butted up here together. I've had several people ask why uh, to keep uh, coal from falling down onto the road there. Because uh, obviously if you're driving along the road and a train goes by and it's got a leaky door, you don't want coal falling on your uh, car. So that's why these are all together here. And on the approach spans, obviously you don't need them. Okay, so there you have it. I wanted to show you this too. Um, put the new lag screws in the walkways on the new timbers and they see the 
the long timbers go over here and hold this walkway uh, shield in place. And uh, these are the little lags that they use for that. Now these bridge guards, they uh, they keep the timbers from skewing. I think I told you that before. It's been a while since I made the first part of this video, so I don't remember what all I told you and what I didn't. Uh, they had to put the old bridge guards back in. They drilled new holes and put these lags down in here to keep these because these here that are butted together, they don't have a real tendency to want to skew real bad because they're all together, but the ones over here, they'll they'll just train goes through they'll just slide so they put these lag screws in there down into here and here is the lag screw that they use for that okay and uh, these are the uh, what we call j bolts they go down and they hook under the steel bridge girder and uh, some people call them hook bolts and that's okay but uh, this is what they look like. So that part there will hook underneath your your metal of uh, the bridge girder. And uh, of course they have to drill a hole. And then they put this, torque this down on top of it. All right. Very good. And being a tangent bridge, they have their hook bolts, what, one, two, three, every four timbers. Okay. So. I'll show you the fi uh, final product for now. Like I said, there's no clue when this is going to get finished. And we have several other big projects in the workings that really needs to get done before we get these uh, this bridge buttoned up. This was the worst part of the bridge through here, and that approach over there was the worst part of the bridge. So, you know, the guys did what they had to do with the amount of time that they had to work with. And uh, there you have it. So, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to thank you very much for uh, watching this uh, series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I wish I could show you a complete bridge, all done, but it's I just can't do it. So I wanted to wrap this up and uh, get you on your way. Thank you very much for watching. And I, I hope you have a really good day. Happy rails to you until we meet again.